Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you Rucksack. Now, Rucksack is a super cool uh, extension for post CSS, and it says that it gives your CSS superpowers. So for this example, we're just going to install Rucksack into our project, and then we're gonna show you this outrageously cool responsive text property that comes with Rucksack. Now, over the next few videos, we're gonna be going over some other Rucksack properties, but for right now, let's just get started with this response responsive font size. So now to get started, we basically need to install Rucksack. So we can come into our terminal here in our project and we can run npm install uh, hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. Now the package is, is going to be Rucksack hyphen CSS. Okay, so now Rucksack is going to be downloaded. Okay, so now we can go ahead and add it to our Gulp file, which is what we've been doing. So this should be no surprise to you at this point because we've been using Gulp. Uh, if you're using something else, you can just add it the same way that you add any other package with your post CSS. Now we can say require Rucksack hyphen CSS, and we're going to just say the var is going to just be Rucksack. Keep it simple, like so. And then we can just add it to the list of processors. So add another list and just say Rucksack. It's as simple as that. So now we can take advantage of some really super cool Rucksack features. So with Rucksack, we can just leave it right now for the default options. And let's go ahead and see some crazy uh, responsive CSS stuff going on. Let's go ahead and just make a, a paragraph. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste in some dummy text in here. I'm just going to use some lorem ipsum here from this Sublime plugin. And let's give this a class. We can just say class responsive. Okay. Just copy this class name for use later. Now let's come and refresh our page. And you can see we have a paragraph here. Nothing too crazy. Um, you can see it just flows the sort of way that you would expect. Now let's actually see this uh, crazy responsive typography in action here. So we can come to our sublime. Let's come to our CSS and now let's go ahead and use that class responsive. So let's go ahead and say font hyphen size and we can say is responsive. Now this isn't a value that you normally have for font size, but with Rucksack, this is possible. So let's go ahead and, but before this will work, let's go ahead and cancel our, uh, watch command and rerun it just so it cause now just so it now takes an effect of the new packages. Okay. So let's come ahead and save this. And as you can see, we get a bunch of crazy stuff in here. We hit this font size calc. We get this screen min width and max width and starting at 12 and going to 21. So let's actually see what goes on here. So when I refresh my page, uh, let's go ahead and highlight this, you can see the font size is being calculated. And as we change the width of the browser here, font size gets smaller and smaller. And likewise, as we go bigger, the font size gets bigger and bigger. So this is really accommodating um, your browser width and sort of making things get really small and really large upon changing the width of the browser. Now this is really interesting, right? It's taking the viewport width and then subtracting the minimum breakpoint and then dividing by 860 and it's the base font size is 12 pixels plus nine. I mean, this is just sort of wild. So let's go ahead and show you some options, right? For instance, when we were here and we got this really small, this is unreadable, it's too small, right? So we can actually modify that. So by coming in here to this font size property responsive, we can give this a minimum font size. So let's say we want to modify the minimum and maximum. Well, we can actually add that on the end here by saying, let's say we want this to get no larger or no smaller than 16 pixels. And we want this to get a little bit larger like 36 pixels at its maximum. So this is a little bit wider range, but as you can see, the values have already changed where the maximum is set to 36 and the minimum is set to 16, and our values in this calc statement have even changed. So if we come here and refresh, you can see that even at the larger screens, if we select this, we can see that the font size never gets below 16. And then when we get larger, 
you can see it's quite a bit larger. Now, now this is something that might change the way you think about doing responsive text because the calc system is nice that it actually scales. It's almost like uh, if you've ever used the fit text plugin, which is a JavaScript plugin. If you've ever used that, this is a very similar thing. It's going to be changing your size here and adjusting it accordingly. That's awesome. I mean, let's look at the CSS it took to do that. This, this one line. So Rucksack is full of really cool things like this. Now this is just the most, uh, the first example, as you can see, responsive typography is number one on their list. And it just says, uh, add this and then resize your browser. In addition, we have some really cool stuff like shorthanded positioning. Uh, I personally use a shorthand positioning uh, Mix in that's in stylus. However, this one's really cool too. We have quantity queries where you can say if there's at least five things, then make the color red. That's awesome. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff. And in the next few videos, we're going to be going over a lot of the more interesting things that Rucksack has to offer. So Rucksack is a killer app for post CSS. Check it out. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment the video, hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.